I'm going to show you today. I'm going to take you by the hand and teach you some of my Forex trading strategies utilizing our charting software here. I'm also going to teach you some trading strategies where you can actually start generating profits in the Forex market now. Uh, before we begin, what I'd like to do, I uh, want let everybody know that there is no such thing as an undefeated season when you are trading. You should never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. You should always trade with proper equity management in mind. I'm going to teach you about that here today. Now, the key is to keep your profits high and to have minimal losses as you're going along. Now, you may incur losses from time to time, but we do highly recommend that you go through this entire education. You go through it in its entirety and you begin trading as an educated and knowledgeable trader. Now, the key point about all this is that please be advised that anything I show you today, I'm about to go into the live market here in just a second. I am going to teach you a trading strategy. I'm actually going to show you one of the trades I'm looking at right now. But when you decide to place a trade live in the market, that decision to trace the place that trade is yours and yours alone. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be going over here today. I know we have a lot of brand new people here today. Don't worry. I will take a minute or two. I'll get you up to speed on what the Forex market is. Now, I'm going to go into the live market. And when I do, I'm going to teach you a very simple trading strategy. It's called the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Then I'm going to show you how you can do some analysis utilizing our charting and our automated tools that are built right into the charting software. Uh, plus, like I said, I will show you a current trading opportunity that I'm looking at. And I will show you today how to set up a demo trading account. And I'm going to show you today how you can actually get this charting software and some free bonuses here today. Now, one of the things I want to point out to everybody that everything I'm showing you here today, I kind of call this my Quick Start Forex program because Everything I'm showing you here today, you're going to get to take for a test drive for about the cost of a pack of gum. Take it for a test drive, decide if this is something that you can do uh, with very almost minimal risk as far as tr trying this out here. Now, uh, Renee just gave you a little bit about me, but let me just kind of give you a Cliff Notes version of myself. I have been trading in the investment market since 1998. I also have worked for several different financial companies. I also did help start, launch, and build an entirely new financial services company from the ground floor up. I am an active full-time trader, uh, but one of the things I do want to point out is that I was mostly into stocks and options before I found out about the Forex market. Specifically, I was in a webinar just like those of you that are joining me here today. I was in a webinar just like this. I became interested in the Forex market. I decided to go ahead and take action. In fact, I've actually gone through the same education. In fact, everything that I've, I've learned about the Forex market, I have learned through MTI. So that's one of the things I want to point out is that even though I did know about the Forex market before becoming on board here at MTI, I didn't understand the potential of the Forex market. So what ended up happening is I went through the education and then MTI, they started asking me to go out and start doing presentations like this to get brand new people up to speed very quickly in the market here. So uh, what we do is for those of you, uh, you may have caught one of my, my colleague earlier here today, Joe Cavallaro. Um, I'm coming to you live here today from Market Traders Institute in Orlando, Florida. This building you see on your screen is actually our building. I'm actually broadcasting live out of the second floor of this building here today. Uh, one of the things I want to point out is that we have students that come to our building on a daily basis. They get trained live right in our classrooms each and every day. In fact, this week, we are actually celebrating our 23rd anniversary. We've been around for 23 years. We have a couple hundred students that are actually here at a live event uh, at the Gaylord Palms, uh, Gaylord Palms here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's actually a five-day uh, trading event that we have going on with our students here today. So we have students come here each and every day and get trained live in person. And uh, we are getting a little bit of notoriety here. As you can see on this slide right here, uh, we are getting some recognition. Uh, we were voted as one of the best companies to work for by Florida Trend Magazine. Uh, Trader Planet nominated us for a Star Award for Best Trading Education. More importantly, Inc. Magazine. I think many of you might recognize this. Inc. Magazine recognized us in 2015, uh, 1,180 on Inc. 5000's fastest growing companies. Now, last year, we climbed up to 592. So we're hoping uh, for this year, we're actually gonna be climbing up within the, the Inc. 500 here. Uh, we got a nice little letter here from Inc. Magazine, letting us know that we share the same pedigree as Intuit, Zappos, Under Armour, Microsoft. So we are very proud of it. Now, the only reason we are able to get this type of recognition is because our students are getting results in this market. The only way we're gonna keep getting this type of recognition is if we keep getting those results for our students. Now, uh, we did get the attention of this gentleman right here. 
uh, Kevin Harrington. Some of you might recognize him. Uh, Kevin is one of the original sharks from the TV show Shark Tank. Uh, short of the story is he actually saw what we do here. He became interested in the Forex market, so he's actually partnered with us. In fact, Kevin's actually here uh, this week for our 23rd anniversary event here. He's actually speaking uh, one day here this week for our event. So uh, they, he decided to partner with us on that in what we call our Trade Like a Shark program. So we'll be able, I, we'll be able to give you a little bit more information about that for those of you that might be interested in that. So uh, now you have a little bit of, of information about me. You have a little bit of information about MTI. Before we jump into the charts, what I want to do now is I want to get a little bit of information about you. I want to get an idea of your Forex trading experience. So if everybody can quickly look at the screen right now, look at the screen, uh, type in number one into the chat box right now if you are brand new. This can help me judge uh, what type of people I have in the room here today. I want to, don't want to spend a lot of time explaining what the Forex market is if everybody already knows here. So if you're brand new, Type the number one in. So yeah, so I got Paul, I got Ben, I got Brian, Raymond, Alex. Yeah, usually in a lot of these webinars, I do get a lot of people that are brand new. Uh, Eric says he's brand new, Ross. Uh, now, if you have a little bit of experience in this market, go ahead, type the number two into the chat box. That let me know. Maybe you've, you've been to a couple of workshops like this. Uh, maybe you're even trading in a practice or a demo account. So, okay, yeah, so yeah, it looks like Garrett's a number two. Uh, Shane says he's a number two. David's a number two. Great here. So yeah, thank you for that, Paul. I appreciate that as well. Uh, now type in number three if you are an experienced forex trader. You are maybe you're even trading live in this market here. So okay, yeah. So let's say I'm still getting a lot of number ones and twos coming in right now. Uh, looks like I did get one number three. That's JJ. Thank you for that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Brian says he's a number three as well. Great. So I appreciate everybody responding here. So it looks like most of you are brand new. Like I said at the beginning of the webinar, don't worry. I'm going to take you by the hand right now before we jump into the market. Let me quickly explain to you what the Forex market is. Explain to you what the Forex market is. I'm going to explain to you what we're doing when we're trading Forex currencies. I'm going to explain to you what a PIP is and why you want them. More importantly, I'm actually going to show you a strategy here today where you can get started right now. Like I said, everything that I'm showing you here today is part of my quick start program. So uh, let's get started here. Let me quickly explain what the Forex market is. Uh, Forex, it stands for Foreign Currency Exchange, for, Foreign Exchange. Uh, the Forex market, it is the largest financial market. Uh, there's over $5 trillion that is daily traded in this market. So all I want you to imagine is getting a fraction of a fraction of that. That's what we're going to be looking to do in this market is trade to capture pips and capture a fraction of that. Another neat thing about the market is that it's a very liquid market. What that means is that you can get in and out of this market very quickly. I know we probably have a lot of stock traders in this market. The Forex market, you can literally get in and out almost instantaneously in this market. Uh, the other neat thing about this market is that it's a flexible market. This is what ties into my trading strategy I'm about to show you. In the Forex market, there are three major trading sessions that go on. You have the Asian session, you have the London session, and you have the, the New York, the U.S. session. These trading sessions, they overlap. So what that means is that you can literally trade the Forex market 24 hours a day from 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Sunday through 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Friday. So a lot of benefits to trading the Forex market here. One other quick benefit about the Forex market, as I mentioned, there's probably a lot of stock traders here. Probably a lot of you know already know there's thousands and thousands of stocks you can watch and trade. However, in the Forex market, there's only about 60 different currency pairs to trade. The neat thing about this is that because we have 23 years of experience in this market, we're going to narrow this down. We'll teach you and show you which ones to pay the most attention to, and we'll teach you the secrets to trading them. In fact, I actually follow about 18 different currency pairs regularly. I'm going to show you a trading strategy where we're going to narrow that down even more. We're going to focus on six currency pairs. I'm going to pull them up here in just a second. Now, before I jump into my charts, let me quickly explain to you what you're going to be looking at. When I pull up my charts, you're going to see a chart like this. When you look at the chart, you're going to be looking at this here. Now, essentially what we're doing in the Forex market is we are trading one country's currency against another in an attempt to figure out which one's going to gain in value against the other. So in this case here, when you look at our chart, upper left-hand corner, you can see that this is the Great British Pound, GBP, US dollar, USD currency pair. So in essence, on this chart, what's happening is that as the pound gains in value over the dollar, the market goes up, and as the pound loses in value over the dollar, the market goes down. Now, these little rectangles, for those of you that are not familiar with this type of chart, this is what we call a candlestick chart. 
these little rectangles are called Japanese candlesticks. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here explaining what these candlesticks are, but what they do is they measure the time frame on your chart. So up here on the upper left-hand corner of my screen, next to the currency pair, you can see that this is a one-hour chart. So what that means when I pull my charts here, I'm going to be utilizing a one-hour chart. It means each one of these candlesticks represents what the market has done in one hour of time frame. I'm not going to go in a lot of detail explaining how these candlesticks work, but all you really need to know, for those of you taking notes, write this down. The white candlesticks mean that the market went up and closed up during that hour of that one hour, that time frame. So it's also called a bullish candlestick. The dark blue ones are called bearish candlesticks. That means that the market went down and closed down during that one hour time frame. Now, one more quick thing about these candlesticks is that these candlesticks, they also form what are called candlestick formations. Once again, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this, but we teach you about candlestick formations. These candlestick formations are the sign language of the market. They help to tell the trader's story. In fact, this one right here at the bottom of my screen, we call this one a morning star candlestick formation. This is saying, hey, Brian, hey, Paul, hey, uh, Drew, hey, Devin, look for this market to U-turn and go upward in a bullish movement. At the top of my screen, we call this an evening star candlestick formation. This is saying, hey, Brian, hey, Max, Carson, Brian again, look for this market to U-turn and go downward in a bearish movement. Now, I'm not gonna teach you a lot about this here today, but our, the charting software I'm about to show you here, I'll show you the feature that automatically points out these candlestick formations to you. So you don't have to know all about them, but I'll, I'll point them out when we go into the actual live market. Now, there's two other things you need to know before we jump in. I show you how to become a Forex trader. In this market, we are looking to capture what are called PIPs. Now, PIP is an acronym. It's going to stand for price interest point. Once again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining this, but let me quickly explain what this means. Just uh, Most of you probably in the room will probably already know that there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar. So a penny, it represents one one hundredth of a U.S. dollar, basic. Now, if we were looking for a unit of measure that is smaller than a penny, it would be the equivalent to what is called a pip. Just as there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar, there are 100 pips in a penny. So a pip, it represents one one hundredth of a penny. If we look at this number right here, the two numbers after the decimal point, these are your pennies. These next two here are your pips. So a pip is a unit of measure. It's called price interest point. It's one one hundredth of a penny. Just want to go ahead and point that out here. Now, to give you an idea, when we capture these pips, how much they are going to be worth, we utilize leverage in this market. This leverage is going to give you buying power in this market. In fact, this leverage is going to be provided by your broker. It's going to allow you to place your trades and generate a leverage return on your trades. Let me quickly explain to you what that means. In this market, we trade in three major lot sizes. We have what's called a micro lot. A micro lot is about a $20 investment from your trading account. Each pip that you capture is going to be worth about 10 cents. So if you're taking notes here, you might want to write this down. A micro lot's a $20 investment per trade. Each pip's going to be worth about 10 cents. So the trading strategy I'm going to show you here today, we're going to be looking to capture a minimum of 50 pips. If we capture those 50 pips, it's going to be worth about $5 in profit. The next size up is called a mini lot. A mini lot is a $200 investment from your trading account. Each pip is now going to be worth $1. So those same 50 pips now, if you're trading a mini lot account, they're going to be worth $50. Now, a standard lot is a standard lot is the standard by which most traders strive to achieve in this market. A standard lot is a $2,000 investment per trade. Each pip's now going to be worth about $10. So those same 50 pips now are going to be worth $500 here. So I know there's some of you in the room right now probably saying, well, William, I can't put out $2,000 per trade, or maybe you can't even start off with $200 per trade. Some of you probably can afford $20 per trade, but like I told you at the beginning of the webinar, what I want you to do is before you invest any money into this market, practice in a demo account. I'm going to teach you and show you how to set up a demo account. What we want you to do is set up a demo account Start practicing trading in this market, become familiar with the market. Then when you're comfortable trading, invest into a micro lot. As your confidence level builds, as your account level builds, go from a micro lot to a mini lot. And then once again, as your confidence level builds, your trading account builds, go to that standard lot here. So I'm not asking you to put any money in your trading account here today. Start practicing. I'm going to teach you a trading strategy right now where you can get started practicing. And then when you become comfortable, then you can invest in this market. Now, before we jump in, 
I'm about to teach you a trading strategy. It's called the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Uh, there's one gentleman I want to introduce you to. His name is Joshua Martinez. The reason I want to talk about Josh is because he is the creator of the program. A little bit about his background. He's a, one of our product experts here at Market Traders Institute. He has trained thousands of Forex investors. In fact, when Josh started off, started off trading, he invested $500 into his trading account. He generated over $39,000 in profit off of that $500. So he has made thousands and thousands of Forex investments. He's an international speaker. He's one of our pro analysts, and he is a full-time trader. Now, I do need to update this, but this is a third-party verified uh, uh, account on my FX book here. Uh, we need to update this because he actually here, it says here that uh, from February to October, he was up uh, almost 37,000 pips. Uh, he, I think he wound up with well over 38,000 pips last year in uh, 2016 and this year so far I wish I had his, I, I have to update this here but uh, I can for those of you interested I can send out his FX book at the end of the, the webinar here I'll pull it up and see if I can find it he's well over that as well uh, going into 2017 so Josh is an excellent trader uh, the reason I point this out is because I'm kind of give you a cliff notes version of how this strategy works when you sign up for the trial that I'm about to give you guys here today, he's actually going to be in a live, he's going to be in a recorded video giving you more details about this trading strategy. So I'm going to kind of give you a Cliff Notes version of how this works, but you're going to get the charting software to take it for a test drive. You're going to get a video uh, from Josh. In fact, actually, you're going to get many videos from Josh here teaching you how, how to do a lot of what I'm about to show you here today. So take some notes as we're going through this because uh, we're about to go into the live market. In fact, you might want to start off by taking some notes right now because I'm about to start teaching you the London Daybreak trading strategy. On your screen right here, you're going to see these are the six currency pairs we're going to utilize. Like I told you, we're going to narrow this down and focus. We're going to utilize the Great British Pound Canadian dollar currency pair, the Great British Pound US dollar, Great British Pound Japanese yen, Great British Pound Swiss franc, the Great British Pound New Zealand dollar, Great British Pound Australian dollar, the Aussie here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my charts and I'm going to teach you a trading strategy called the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Very simple strategy where we're going to be going after a minimum of 50 pips per currency pair per day. So what I'm going to do, now that we've gone over all the basics, let's go ahead, let's pull up our charts. And when you, you, right now you should see six charts on your screen. So if everybody, I'm going to grab a quick sip of water here. Uh, when you do see the six, char six charts on your screen, go ahead, type in Y or yes or something. Uh, let me know that you do in fact see it, and then we're going to go ahead and begin the live market portion of the webinar here. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Great. I got you. Ross, Brian, uh, Drew, thank you for that. Devin. Adam Parker, thank you for that, Paul as well. Great. So everybody sees the charts on the screen. So uh, let's get started here. Now, as I mentioned, uh, these are the six currency pairs we're going to utilize. In the upper left-hand corner is the Great British Pound Australian dollar. Uh, upper center is the Pound Canadian. Upper right is the Pound Swiss franc. Uh, in the bottom left, we have the Pound Japanese yen. Bottom middle, the Pound New Zealand uh, dollar, the Kiwi. And we have the Pound US dollar down here in the bottom right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by teaching you a very simple strategy. Then I'm going to come in, I'm going to show you a current trade opportunity that I'm looking at doing some manual analysis. But now uh, the trade strategy I'm about to show you here, you don't have to know how to do all kinds of analysis. It's going to be very simple. So let's go ahead, let's pull down my charts. Let's bring this down here. And let me explain to you what we're going to be looking at in this market. When we look in this market, we're going to be looking for the market to form its initial high or low for the day. We're going to be looking for this to happen between 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 5 o'clock p.m. I'm sorry, 5 o'clock a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Now, what we're going to be looking for is the market to either pull back and form its low and rally up, or we're going to look for it to rally up, form its high, and then pull back. Ultimately, we're looking for directional movement coming from this time period. Now, the reason for this is, as I mentioned, there are three different uh, trading, major trading sessions. What's going on during this time period is you have the close of the Asian trading session and the beginning of the London session. So we're going to be looking for this directional movement happening during this time period. Now, we're also going to be looking for our opposite high or low for the day. We're going to look for this to happen between 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. 
So we're going to be looking for this directional movement during this time period, either rallying up or going down. Now, the reason for this, looking for that opposite higher low, is because we have the close of the London session and you have the beginning of the New York session, the US session happening here. So I'm going to teach you a strategy that's going to help us capture this directional movement that's happening here. Now, one more thing you need to know, you might want to take some notes on this. We have found that each one of these currency pairs has what's called an average daily trading range. The average daily trading range on each one of these currency pairs is 50 pips on the low side and over 200 pips on the high side. In fact, they can keep going up and up and up. In fact, there's one of the, the trades recently, I think it went up almost 400 pips here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a strategy here right now where we're going after first base. We're simply going after those 50 pips. I'm going to teach you a very basic lesson here. Uh, in the, the lesson that you're going to get from Josh, that recorded video, I think he goes in more detail about all this. But I'm going to show you a very simple trading strategy. Now, if you remember, once again, those 50 pips, depending on your trading account, if you're trading a micro account, uh, that means that each pip – is going to be worth uh, 10 cents. So that means that your micro lot account would be, uh, each trade would be going after about $5 in profit. Uh, with a mini lot account, uh, our pips at $1 per pip are now going to be worth $50. Oop. And with a standard lot, uh, we're going to be looking at $500 per currency pair per trade. So if everybody has this written down, you have, you're ready to move forward, let's go ahead, let's go back down into the market. Uh, you basically have everything that you need to know as far as getting started here. And once again, I'm, I only have enough time to teach you the basics, kind of give you an overview. Josh will take you by the hand, he'll teach you and show you a little bit more on how to do this here. So let's go ahead, let's bring this down right here. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and highlighted, oh, somebody just asked here, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Max just asked what I'm about to show here. I apologize if I did not say that. This is called the London Day Break Strategy. And once again, this was created by our analyst, Joshua Martinez. He's going to give you a video uh, going into a little bit more detail about this. So uh, like I said, we're looking in between 2 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock uh, a.m., for that directional movement. So I've come in and highlighted a couple of these here. You can see here the directional movement coming off of this one. Uh, the directional movement coming off of this one right there was about 89 pips. Uh, we have this one right here. The directional movement coming off of that one was about 371 pips. 371 pips off of that one. Uh, this one right here was about 89 pips. This one right here was about 107 pips. Or if we came all the way up here, about 145 pips. This one right here was a nice one. That one was 234 pips coming down off of this one, 84 pips. And this one right here is about 59 pips. So I'm about 60 pips going up just like that here. So uh, some of you might be wondering, well, why does this happen? Why does this directional movement happen? Let me quickly explain before we actually jump into uh, actually trading here. What has been said is that during the European market, what ends up happening is that the banks are processing the largest bulk of the Forex transaction. So what ends up happening is that during this period, the banks, they're processing their orders. It provides a huge injection of volume and uh, injection of volume and directional movement into the market. So it's going to give you and I the ability using a simple strategy here to capture that movement here. So let's go ahead. Let's zoom in here and we're going to start. I'm going to give you a very simple strategy here to get started. Oops, let me bring that back down here because I know somebody is going to be asking this question here. Uh, once again, what we're showing here, this is called the London Daybreak Trading Strategy here. Now, the London Daybreak Trading Strategy, we're going to base this off of the close of the 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time candle. So essentially, as I mentioned before, each one of these candles are one hour in time frame. We're essentially going to be starting at 4 o'clock a.m. Now, I'm teaching you the strategy. Josh will show you in his videos where there might be some days where you might not want to utilize this strategy here. So I'm going to kind of give you the strategy, show you how it works. And then once again, for those of you that want to take advantage of it, you can get more details from him in that video. Now, before we get started, one more thing I want to show everybody here because uh, there's three basic questions you're going to want to answer as a trader before you get started. Number one, which direction is the market going? That's question number one. Number two, where, where and why to get into the market? And number three, you're going to need to know where 
and why to get out. Now, I'm, after I get done teaching you this trading strategy, the London Daybreak trading strategy, I'm gonna show you how to manually determine which direction the market's going, manually where and why to get in and manually where and why to get out doing analysis. I'm gonna show you a trading strategy right now that's gonna make this very easy. You don't have to know all this manual analysis. We're gonna teach you it, but you know what? You don't have to know all of it to get started. So let's go ahead, let's zoom in right now. Oops, let's put this down here. Let's put that down there. I'm gonna zoom in here nice and tight on this candle right here. It's the three o'clock a.m. candle about a week or two ago. I'm gonna show you this right here. So let's zoom in here. Oops, there we go. So three o'clock a.m. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. At three o'clock a.m., let's, let's actually make this a little bit bigger. I'll make sure that everybody can see this. There we go. So at the close of the 3 a.m. candle, this is step number one. We're gonna help to determine number question number one, which direction is the market going? We're gonna come in here and we're going to set two pending orders. We're gonna set one pending order, 10 pips above the high of this three o'clock a.m. candle. So this is 64.18. So we're gonna set this at 64.29 right there. Now I'm gonna type this out here. This is going to be our entry buy. It's a pending order. It's gonna be plus 10 pips above the high of that 3 a.m. candle. Now we're also going to set another pending order, five pips below the low. So 6394, we're gonna set this at 6389. This is gonna be our entry sell position. Our entry sell is gonna be minus five pips below the low. Just like that, so that's step number one. This is gonna help us to answer question number one, which direction is the market going? Which direction is that directional movement gonna take off in? So let's go ahead here. We have our, our entry set with both pending orders. We're not in the market till we get triggered into the market. So let's see, let's see what ends up happening here. One hour later, bam, the market triggers our entry buy. Our entry buy now just became a market buy. What this has done right here, this has given me an educated opinion saying, hey, William, we believe that directional movement is going bullish during that that London uh, during the London session here. So first order business, when we get triggered in, we're triggered into a market buy, we're buying in this market, we're going to close out this other position, cancel that other position because we're not looking to sell the market, we're looking to buy the market. So that's answering question number one. Now, where and why to get in? We just got into the market when we got triggered. So that answers question number two. Uh, one thing we also need to answer before uh, we answer question number three, what we need to do, the next step after we cancel that order is we need to set a stop loss because we need to protect ourselves if the market goes against us here. Now, when buying the market, our stop loss is going to go at the low of that 3 a.m. candle. In fact, actually here, JJ just asked a good question here. JJ says, are we talking about the candlestick wicks? Yeah, for those of you not familiar with this candlestick here, the candlestick wicks here, this high point and low point, these are gonna be your, your highs and lows of that here. So don't go off the body, you're gonna go off to, of the wick here. Uh, let me type this out for everybody here. And this is gonna be our stop loss when uh, buying, I'm sorry, when buying in the market. Stop loss when buying is gonna go at the low of that 3M candle. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with what a stop loss is, what this means is that if the market were to go against us, I'm gonna take out my measuring tool here, and we measure this here. If you look in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, the range is the amount of pips. We would be risking 34 pips on this trade. So we're risking 34 pips. Now, we now need to determine where and why to get out of this trade. So we're gonna pull this down here. We need to determine our target. So let me delete this. Here's our market buy. So our target, which is going to be our exit, also known as our limit, is gonna be one of two things. It's either gonna be number one, a one to one risk ratio, or two, it's gonna be a minimum of 50 pips. So in this case here, if you remember, we're risking what, 34 pips on this trade? So what we're going to do is we're going after the 50 pips, the minimum of 50 pips. So I'm gonna show you how to go after the minimum of 50. Josh will show you how to go after more than those 50 here. So let's go ahead, let's see where our target is. So we come in here and right about 
there, right there. So 1.6479. Right there, bam. And as you can see, probably most of you already have realized is that within that first hour, we were triggered in and we were able to get out. And we actually, within that first hour, we were able to get out and we just captured those 50 pips here. So on that trade right there, not too bad, 50 pips. And that was in one hour. They all don't, yeah, they all don't go like this, I assure you, but it's nice when they do. So if you're trading a mini lot on that trade right there, a mini lot, that would have been about $50 in profit. Not too bad in about one hour. Now, my standard lot traders, if you're trading a standard lot, you just made about $500 in profit in one hour. So think about that. Think about, is that something? I know some of you, uh, somebody had asked a question before. I think it was Kevin asked the question, basically saying, well, do I have to get up at uh, four o'clock or three o'clock a.m. to trade this? Well, think about this. When I show you these type of results, would you be would it be worth it to get up and set these trades? Now, the other thing is, once you get this all set up, once you have your limit set up and your stop loss, you can go back to bed. Once you have your limits and stop loss set up, uh, it's then it's all automatic. You're either going to get stopped out or you're going to hit your limit right there. Now, the other nice thing about this is that we're going to teach you. We'll teach and show you how to go after more than those 50 pips. Let's see what ends up happening here in this market here. Does it keep going up? And it keeps rallying up a little bit more. So we can teach you and show you how to raise your stop loss up, either to break even or lock in some of these profits as you're going along here. But uh, what I want to do is I just showed you here how uh, what happens when we're buying into the market. Let's go ahead and now let's move this to the next trading opportunity. And I'll show you how this works. Oh, there we go, bam. So there's our next 3 a.m. candle right there. And I'm just using these as an example because these are some nice uh, um, illustrations here and examples of how this actually works. Uh, here's our next 3 a.m. candle. So once again, we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did on the previous trade. Now I'll type this out for everybody, but if you remember, when that 3 a.m. Uh, candle closes, we're gonna come in here and 10 pips above this high, we're going to set our entry buy. So this is 65.58. We're going to set this at 65, 68. Now I'll type this out again. That's our entry buy. Now our entry buy is going to be plus 10 pips above the high. And we'll go a little bit quicker here. We're also going to set our entry sell five pips below the low. So 65.32, we'll set that at 65.27. I'll type this out. Entry sell is going to equal minus five pips below the low, just like that here. So hopefully I'm not going too fast. I know I have limited time here today. Uh, if I am, take some notes. Uh, when you get that video from Josh, he'll go into he'll, he'll go over all this again. He'll give you more details about all this. So uh, once again, step number one, we have to determine which direction is the market going. We have our entry buy, entry sell set. They're both pending orders. Let's see what ends up happening here. So bam, within the next hour, our entry sell gets triggered on this one here. So our entry sell just became a market sell. What that means is that we are now in this market and we are selling the market, giving us that educated opinion where we believe that that directional movement is going downward here. So first order of business is to cancel this opposite order because we're not looking to buy the market, we're looking to sell the market. Now, one of the things I know there's some of you probably scratching your head saying, well, William, if the market's going down, how do we make money in this? It's called shorting the market. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about explaining that, but essentially what you're doing is you're, you're selling your position first and then you exit by buying. We can teach you how to do this. I assure you we can do this. In fact, actually, probably, I'm guessing probably about 70, maybe even 80% of my trades are shorting the market. So just kind of giving you the heads up on that. So uh, we answer question number one, which direction is the market going? We believe it's going down. And where to why to get in? We're now in the market, selling the market. Next order of business, after we cancel that opposite order, we're going to come in here and we need to set our stop loss. It's a little bit different when selling the market. When selling the market, our stop loss is going to go five pips above the high. So 58, let's go right there at 63. So let me type that out. Stop loss when selling. And I know some of you are probably asking some questions. Well, why the difference? Why 10 pips above? Why five pips below? Why at the, the low? And why five, five pips above? Um, Josh will probably explain that in that video for you. Uh, five pips above the high. I don't have a lot of time to go into the details about that, but he can go into the details and explaining why the difference is here. So uh, we have our entry, our stop loss is set. Now, once again, our stop loss is going to protect us 
if the market goes against us. Let's measure how many pips we are risking on this trade, 35 pips. If you remember, however, though, in fact, let me delete this. There we go. If you remember our target, which is also our exit, also known as our limit, it's one of two things. It's either going to be a one to one risk ratio or two, a minimum of 50 pips. So what I say we are risking on this one, 32. Uh, we're risking, oh, I'm sorry, about 30, 35 pips. So we're going after 50 pips at minimum on this one. So let's come down here. Let's measure this one. And right there, so 1.6477 is going to be our target. Right about there. So once again, we have our entry, our stop loss to protect us. We have our, our exit. So at this point, if we wanted to, we could just go to bed. I mean, at this point, we're ready to go to bed or just simply just let this trade plan out because we're either going to get stopped out or we're going to hit our target. Let's see what ends up happening here. So one hour, two hours later after that, the market does, in fact, hit our target. We just captured another 50 pips on that one. Not too bad. Now, if that was 50 pips, and we'll say that was in three hours. Not too bad. So once again, my mini lot traders, uh, if you're trading a mini lot account, you just made about $50 in profit in about three hours. Uh, my standard lot traders, you just made another $500 in profit in three hours trading it just like that. Now, once again, I believe, let's go ahead if this market keeps going down, oh, I guess it only went down a little bit here. Does it keep going? That doesn't look like it keeps moving down. So this was a good trade. We got out just in time on this one here. So, uh, but like I said, you're going to be getting a video from Josh uh, as part of this, going into detail, teaching you, explaining you how to do this here. So uh, does everybody have this down? I'll make sure that everybody understands this here. This is, I know, a very simple, basic trading strategy. Uh, in fact, let me pull this up here. I'll show you here. Uh, as part of the trial here, as part of this charting trial that you get to take here today, you will get this video from Josh uh, teaching you on the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. He'll show you here the same strategy I showed you, but like I said, he'll show you sometimes where there might be days. He'll teach and show you how there might be some days where you might not want to actually trade this strategy here. So I just want to point that out. You're going to get this as part of it. And I'll go over everything you're going to get as part of uh, this trial, uh, the charting trials uh, that you're going to get here today. So uh, once again, you're going to be trading these six currency pairs with that. You already now, with just the little basics that I taught you and with the video from Josh, you're actually ready to get started trading this here. And I'm going to show you in a little while here how to set up a demo trading account so you can actually start trading this starting tonight. Now, once again, each one of these currency pairs is going to give you 50 pips per day of opportunity five times a week. So ask yourself, how many of you think that you'd be able to get one or two of these each and every week? There's 30 trade opportunities utilizing these currency pairs, utilizing the strategy I showed you here just like that. And like I said, you're going to get a little bit more of an education and details on this here. So that's the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Uh, like I said, Josh is going to show you that video. Uh, he'll show you and teach you a little bit more of the details on this here. Now, I'm going to go in back into my charting now. Uh, I'm going to show you how to manually analyze this market. Now, the charting software is going to be included. In fact, basically, uh, what I'm giving you here today is a charting trial. You'll be able to take our charting software for a trial, and it includes everything that I'm showing you here. So uh, I'm going to go into our charting software. I'm going to show you how to analyze the market utilizing our exclusive and patent pending auto Fibonacci tool. We also have an auto trend line tool. We have a king's crown tool, a candlestick tool. Our charting, e our charting can email you and send you text alerts. I'll show you how to do that. You can even trade directly from the charts. We'll teach you and show you how to set up your trading account and link it right to our charts so you can trade right from our charts. Uh, we have what are called cloud-based workspaces. I'll explain what that is. We can do demo trading right from our charts, and we can also do auto trading right from our charts as well. So let's go ahead and let's go back into our charts. And as I mentioned, I'm going to pull up here. I believe it's, is it this one? Okay, yeah, this is a current trade opportunity that I'm looking at right now. And I'll explain to you why I'm looking at this as being a, tr a trade opportunity. Uh, but what I want to do before we jump into this here is I want to explain to everybody, just like with that trading strategy I showed you before, if we want to manually analyze this market, there's going to be those same three questions that we need to answer. We need to determine which direction is the market going. Uh, number two. Uh, where 
and why to get into the market. And number three, where and why to get out. There we go. So let's quickly answer question number one right now. Which direction is the market going? Well, here's a very simple strategy that you can utilize to determine where the market's going. We can use what's called a trend line. We'll teach you and show you how to do this here. The neat thing about a trend line is that when you are above this trend line, you're in the buy zone. We're gonna be looking to take buying opportunities. When we're below this trend line, we are in the sell zone. Oops, mean that we're gonna be looking to sell the market here. So what ended up happening here, this is on the pound New Zealand on the two hour time frame. The market was below that trend line here. And here's another neat thing about this. I just quickly drew my trend line just like this. Let's just say that maybe I wasn't quite sure that that was accurate. Watch this, I can come in here, built into our charting software, we have what's called our smart trend line tool. I can come in here, click on that, come back up to my point right there and draw it, and as you can see here, it's gonna quickly, accurately, and automatically draw my trend line for me here. So you, you see here that we are in the buy zone. Clearly, the market is in the buy zone, so we're looking for buying opportunities. So that answers question number one, which direction is the market going? We're looking to buy this market. Now, we're not simply just going to jump into the market. Now, you actually could jump into the market and just start buying. In fact, like I told you before, if you wanted to just place a buy order right now, you can simply come under our charts, and hit buy. Actually, I don't have. It doesn't look like my my uh, my account is hooked up to this. But yeah, you can literally place a, a a buy opportunity right here. But an educated trader, we need to determine, have an educated opinion as to where and why to get in and where and why to get out. Now, to answer these two questions, we're going to utilize candlesticks, candlestick formations, and we're going to utilize what's called the Fibonacci tool. So let's go ahead. Let's back this down here. And one of the things I'll explain to everybody uh, in this market, what we have found is that the market moves in waves. When the moat gets going up, it's moving in waves, and when it's going down, it's moving in waves. Now we have found the market tends to move in what's called an A, B, C, D pattern, just like that here. So what we need to do is we need to find this A to B boundary. We can teach you and show you how to do this, but the important thing about when we find this A to B boundary, we're gonna take out what's called our Fibonacci tool. And we're gonna spread our Fibonacci tool from the A to the B, just like that. Now, for those of you wondering, it's spelled Fibonacci. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details explaining what Fibonacci's are. However, these Fibonacci's are gonna help us to predict where the market has been based on or where it's going based on where it's been. So these lines below our B level here, these are called retracement lines. What we found is that in between this A and B boundary, there is a high probability of a pullback or a retracement. Now, what we're looking for is this C point right here. And I'm gonna show you uh, some ways of how we can predict this C point. We can use candlestick formations and other different things here. But when we determine this C point, this U-turn, if we were to buy into the market after that U-turn, let's just say the market pulled back to one of these red retracement levels. Well, what we've done, in fact, some of you have already, a couple of you just asked right now, why are our Fibonacci's different colors? We color coordinate these retracement lines to the lines above the B level. In fact, let me type this out here. Below this B level, these are called retracement lines. Above this B level is called extension. So what we're looking for is the market to pull back and retrace and then extend. So if let's say we were to buy into the market after this U-turn, because we had a red retracement pullback, these hidden levels of support here in retracement are gonna help us predict where the market's going. In this case right here, we would hold our position, we would exit at the red extension, just like that, like a buddy system, red to red, pretty straightforward. Now, if the market were to pull back and form its C point, and form that lowest point of retracement at the blue level right here, and we bought into this market after that U-turn, then we'd be looking to exit our position at the blue extension, like a buddy system, blue to blue, and most of you can probably already guess if the market were to pull back to the green retracement level in U-turn, and we buy into that market after that U-turn, yeah, we're gonna hold our position, set our limit right there at the green extension, like a buddy system, green to green, just like that here. Now, I'm not gonna go into a lot of details explaining Fibonacci's, but they work when the market is going up, 
If I can pull this back down here, we'd be looking for that ABCD movement when it's going up. And we're gonna be looking for it when it's going down, just like this. We'd be doing the same thing in the opposite direction, A, B, C, and D, just like that here. So uh, if everybody has this down, the neat thing about this though, you don't even have to know all that I'm showing you here because we actually have what's called a smart Fibonacci tool that does all of this for us. So what do I mean by that? Let's come back down here into the market. And right now, to get to this point right here, we would have to start here at the beginning of this new trend. And what we would have to do is we would have to draw our Fibonacci's manually. We have to go A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and so on as the market's going up. Here's the neat thing about this is that that would probably be several different uh, uh, Fibonacci swings here. Here's the neat thing about all this is that we have that smart Fibonacci tool. All we have to do is come here to the beginning of that new trend right there, and bam. Do you see that? Quickly and accurately, it drew my Fibonacci's for me. So we had one, two, three, four previous A, B, C, D swings. So this brings me now to the live market here. Let me show you why I'm looking at this as being a trade opportunity. Let's zoom in on this. So as you can see here, we have our A to B boundary. The Fibonacci, the auto Fibonacci tool, it automatically shows this for me. It already determined my current A to B boundary. What I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for that pullback. I'm looking for the retracement in between this A and B boundary. So I'm ultimately looking for the market to pull back to at least around a 0.382 or this top red retracement level right there. If it does pull back and it U-turns. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, so I, I would teach you and show you how to look for U-turns in the market. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. And if I can see if I can find one, actually this one right here. This tool, we have built into our charting software the ability to highlight those candlestick formations here. So if I come in here and I select all, you can see here we have red bearish candlestick formations and we have green bullish candlestick formations. So what I would look for, and for those of you that get this on your charts, this is the, or you get this in your hands here today, I would look for the pound New Zealand on the two hour time frame. What I would look for is for the market to pull back right here. In fact, let me draw a box right there. I'm gonna look for it to pull back right there. And what I'm gonna be looking for is I'm gonna be looking for, as this market's coming down, it's gonna be, oops, well, it's gonna have candlesticks as it's coming down, just like that. I'm gonna be looking for when this market does in fact U-turn, right here, I'm gonna be looking for a green, oops, where's the, I'm gonna be looking for a green candlestick. That's gonna be my entry into the market here. So uh, just based off of this, let's just say that it does in fact U-turn gives me one of those green candlesticks. Uh, if it does pull back to the red extension right there, I'm gonna be looking to exit my trade right here. If it pulls back to the red retracement, I'll be looking to exit right there. So um, let's just say that even if I base off my fake candlestick right here, uh, that's 562 pips of opportunity when in fact does come up here. So huge opportunity here. Now, for those of you wondering, well, where would I set my stop loss on this? I would come in here and we have two different ways of setting our stop loss. Uh, what I like to do is I tend to set my stop loss about 10 to 15 pips below this U-turn here. So if this is 32, we'll make this easy. We'll say we'll set this right there about 10 pips below, right about there. Now, if I was a more aggressive trader, I would set my stop loss below the A, just like that here. Now, the reason for that is because we have a saying that goes, as long as the market does not take out the A, the market has no choice but to go your way. So when you get this on your charts, you might want to write this down, the pound New Zealand on the two hour time frame. All you need to do, just like I just showed you right here, it's so simple, uh, finding a trade opportunity like this, you can come in here, come up here, draw your trend line, or you don't even have to draw your trend line, just come here to the beginning of that new trend, draw your smart Fibonacci's as they're going up just like that right there. Now, here's the other neat thing about this, is let's say that the market, uh, I didn't get a chance to teach you this here, but let's say that we're looking for what's called a counter trend line break. Let's say that maybe I'm waiting for the market to break above this line before I buy. Here's what we can do. We can set an alert on this right here. I told you we set alerts. And it can send me a text message. It can send me an email alert alerting me 
when it's pulled when above that right there so that's anything about our charts we have a lot of these automated features that are built in here i didn't get a chance to show you here my more advanced traders we have a king's crown tool a head and shoulders tool uh with those candlestick tools we have a uh, smart support and resistance tools a lot of neat things this charting software my friends is so simple and easy to use so even if you just understand just a fraction of what i just showed you here today uh, you'll be able to get this in your hands and start learning here today so uh, what i'm gonna do right now is i'm running out of time I'm about to run out of time here. So uh, what I'm going to do here today is I told you everything I showed you here today, this is all part of my quick start Forex program. I want to put all of this in your hands here today so you can actually get started doing exactly what I showed you here today. So let me show you exactly what all is included as part of this. You're going to get the charting software. We're going to let you take this for a 14-day test drive today. You'll get the, the charting functionalities, all of this I showed you here today. Uh, the virtual workspace, I didn't get a chance to, let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, I, actually, a couple of you did ask what these rectangles are. These rectangles at the top of my screen are called workspaces. You can literally come in here, save your charts to these workspaces so that you can pull them up. Now, these workspaces, you can save them either to your computer or to the cloud. So if you are in a different office like I am today or working off of a different computer, all I had to do today was simply come in here, and I was able to open this workspace right from the cloud. So you can save that right to the cloud. And in fact, you're going to be getting a couple of workspaces here today from Josh. That's going to show you how to do that here. Now, I'm going to go into all the details, going into exactly everything you're going to get as part of this trial. But I also promised you that I would make this affordable for everybody. So uh, one of the things I want to point out, in fact, I think actually somebody already asked this question. I think it might have been Drew asked this question about, uh, do you have to be a student of Market Traders Institute to get this here today? No. This is special for investor inspiration here today. You don't have to be a student of Market Traders Institute. You don't have to be a student through one of our ultimate trading programs, uh, spend thousands of dollars to become a student. We're actually, normally this is, you'd have to be a student to get this here today, and normally it would cost you $249 a month as a subscription. Here's what we're going to do. For those of you, if you've been, maybe you've been to some of our webinars before, or based on what I just showed you here today, saying, you know what, William, I want to give this a shot. I want to become a Forex trader and see if this is for me. Here's what you can do. I'm going to send out a link right now to everybody in the room. You're going to get a link. Click on that link and register for our special here today. Our special for Investor Inspiration here today is you're going to get everything I showed you here today for 14 days to take it for a test drive for $1. I think that makes it very affordable for about the cost of a pack of gum. You don't have to take my word for this here today, my friends. Get this in your hands. Click on that link. Register for the trial. You get everything here today. You can literally get set up and start trading that London Daybreak tonight. Now, I will show you here in a little while how to set up a demo trading account here, but for those of you ready to get started, click on that link. You're going to get a 14-day trial of the charting, the videos, and everything I'm about to show you. Everything's going to be included. Now, after that 14 days, take it for 14 days. See if this is for you. If you say this is for you, great. Keep it. We can, we'll lock you in at Investor Inspiration Special of $59 a month after that. You won't be paying the $249, and if you just decide within those 14 days that this isn't for you, cancel and that's it at least you've given it a shot if you at least find some value in what i show you here today you want to give this a shot it's gonna cost you a dollar 14 days get in your hands try it out here now you also get three bonuses i'm gonna go over that here today so what i want to do is i'm gonna walk everybody through the process here if anybody's having trouble with the link i'm gonna pull the link up here in just a second i will send it to you privately so if for some reason you didn't get the link or if you're having trouble clicking on it, I do have a couple more minutes here that I want to walk everybody through what all you're going to get as part of this. So the first step, enroll into the Ultimate Charting Software 14-day trial. You want to do that right now. This is only for this Investor Inspiration webinar. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me pull up that page. When you click on that link or type it into your chat box, you're going to come to this page. Click on Activate Your 14-Day Trial. Now, there's going to be a lot more details here on everything you're going to get. You can read some of our disclaimers if you want. The cancellation policy is all right here on that page. What you need to do right now, though, is click on this, activate your 14-day trial for $1. Enter all your information here, your payment information, activate your trial. Here's what's going to happen. You're probably going to receive two emails. You're going to get one email letting you know that you are, in fact, registered for this trial. Then you're going to get another email that's going to give you your login information. Now, you're going to log in to 
these pages. I'm going to come back here and explain what these pages are here in just a second here. So, okay, great. Yeah, Adam says he got the link. Thank you for that, Adam. Frank, thank you for that. Brian says he's got it here. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. So somebody just said here, uh, can you please send me the link again? Hold on one second. Uh, let me type this out here. And I'm going to explain to everybody here uh, what is going on here. So hold on one second. I'm going to send this out to you right now, Jeremy. Hold on. Yeah, if anybody else has not has not received the link, uh, let me know, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send that out to you right now. So let's go ahead and send that out to uh, everybody right there here. So uh, what you're going to do is I'm going to pull up these video lessons. You're going to get those as part of the trial here today as well. Uh, you view the video lessons. You can do those right after we get done here for the charting and that London Daybreak. Now, what I mean by that, let's pull these back up again, is that you're going to get all of these videos. They are uh, hosted by Josh, the creator of the London Daybreak. We're going to walk you through and get you onboarded for these, these just charting. We're not simply going to put it in your hands and then just say, uh, good luck. You're actually going to get instructions on how to use it. Uh, we'll teach you and show you how to set up a demo account. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. You're going to get three free workspaces from Josh. We'll teach you more about those Fibonacci's. I kind of gave you a very basic Cliff Notes version of it. We go into detail teaching you more about Fibonacci's here. Now, the next page, we'll show you how to navigate and set up some of the settings. Uh, navigating the toolbars, it's creating your own custom indicators and saving templates. That auto Fibonacci tool will show you how to use it. And we'll show you some tips on how to use it. We will teach you and show you how to link your broker to the trade to your to the charts, and we'll show you how to create your workspaces. We'll show you how to back everything up. I didn't even get a chance to even show you about systems. We'll teach you and show you how to execute systems. We'll show you how to set up auto trading, and we can show you how to do all of this and more. You will get that London Daybreak trading strategy video from Josh as well. Uh, if you want to cancel, uh, you want to cancel your subscription, you simply cancel. Click this right here. Cancel right here. I'll show you a, a, an 800 number and an email that you can uh, click uh, to send to. Now you're also on this Friday and every Friday uh, from 10:30 to 11:30, you will be in a live session with either myself or one of our analysts. Uh, what I suggest you do is when you get this charting software in your hands here today, go through it, take some notes. On Friday, you'll be in another live session just like this. You will have a live instructor there that can answer your questions about this here. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to walk everybody through this here. A couple of you just said here about uh, you didn't get the link. So I'm going to send that link out once again in the chat box. If for some reason you weren't able to click on the link or get it, uh, here is the bit.ly link. Go ahead and uh, copy this or write this down and type it into your web browser it will take you to the same page as well. So sign up for the charting, go through the video lessons, uh, set up your demo trading account, go to forex.com, OANDA, or do a Google search for a demo Forex trading account. Make sure it's free, it's very simple and easy to set up or we can teach you and show you how to set up a demo account uh, right from our charts as well. So what you can start doing today, start practicing trading using that strategy, showing using that trade I showed you as well. Then try out the software for 14 days, attend that live class. If you decide that this is not for you, you have 14 days to make that choice. So what I want everybody to do, those of you that are registering, great. Thank you. Jimmy just says he just registered for that. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're getting through and you're registering, go ahead and let me know. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you for that, Evan, as well. We're giving you 14 days to try it out. To focus on those 14 days. Get in your hands, play around with it, see if this is for you. The worst case scenario is you risk a dollar, about the cost of a pack of gum, to see if this is something for you. You don't have to invest hundreds of dollars in this, simply just register for this program. If you want to cancel, uh, if you, if for any reason you want to cancel this program, you can either click on that link, or I suggest you write down this 800 number. Uh, this is our customer support and, uh, phone number and email. Uh, give us a phone call or send us an email, and if you decide this isn't for you, we'll help uh, cancel this. Or if you have any questions uh, beyond the webinar here today, we can help you out with that as well. So once again, uh, let me just run through the steps once again. Click on that link I sent out into the chat box or copy this down, post it into your chat box or into your browser, enroll into that charting. It's only for this webinar here today. So you're going to need to do this uh, for the webinar, uh, before the webinar ends in about one minute. Uh, we also have the video lessons you can go through for the charting in the London Daybreak. Uh, you also get your trading account set up here today. Uh, do a Google search or use one of these I'm suggesting here. Start practicing trading in this. Uh, you can actually start practicing today. Uh, try it out for 14 days. All you're risking is $1 here today. So that's our special, my friends. If you've seen uh, some of our webinars before, 
you know, a dollar to take this for a test drive, uh, to put this in your uh, your wheelhouse of your abilities and, and opportunities here. Once again, it's only for uh, one dollar trial for the first 14 days. Cancel within those 14 days. You owe nothing more. Uh, after the 14 days, uh, we'll get you locked in for that $59. But focus on those 14 days, my friends. Get this in your hands. Try out that trade I just showed you. Try out the strategy I showed you. Make that decision that this is for you. You don't even have to invest any money into your trading account. Set up a demo account. Practice trading that demo account before you even invest any money in. It's a very low risk opportunity I'm providing to everybody here today. Plus, if anything, you're going to get that, that education I showed you. All those videos for $1. It's well worth it just for that. Plus the charting, the London Daybreak strategy as well. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead. A couple of you here uh, just said you're still having trouble with the link. Uh, if you're having trouble with the link, message me. I will send that out once again. But let me send this out one last time. I'll leave this up for about one more minute here today. So uh, Ross, thank you. Ross says he just completed registering. Thank you for that, Ross. Uh, Joey says he, he got the link as well. Thank you, Joey. Uh, JG says he's in. Thank you for that, Joey. Thank you for those kind words as well. Uh, Adam says he's ready to go. So on that note, I'm going to leave this up here. I want to thank Investor Inspiration for allowing us to join you here today. Those of you that uh, were part of this here today, and it looks like most of you stuck around, so I appreciate that. So on that note, I wish you the best in your Forex trading career. Those of you getting started, I can't wait to see how you progress uh, as a Forex trader. So on that note, I wish everybody a good afternoon and wish you the best in your trading. Thank you, everybody.